So why the title of the night? Ah, in fact, it's called in, Alil in, in Arabic, and it's written in Arabic. And that word in Arabic, someone, um, an Egyptian friend, explained to me that um, uh, in ancient Arabic, you use the same word for love, the night, and constellation. And it's that word. And, um, and surprisingly enough, no one had thought of coding a perfume like that. Now, my idea in the beginning of the conversation was what initiated the conversation was that um, what fascinates me when I go to the Middle East is that nothing happens during the day, although now they have air conditioning and everything. Um, you go to Dubai Mall, for instance, which is literally a city under this sort of bubble of glass in air conditioning. Nothing happens and you think, you know, why are they saying that there are 11 million people working into Dubai more every year? It's probably. And, and then, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, and the place, in the evening, and the place is packed until mm -hmm. midnight. And they live at night. Um, and it's, it's a cultural thing. I mean, it comes from, the, from times where there was no AC, um, where life had to happen in the evening, because during the day, you were sort of smashed by sun, you know, and literally sort of killed by it, you could move. Uh, so, so it's, nightlife is a, is a very, um, it's also a very surprisingly almost flirtatious, um, almost electric thing, you know, you, you have these people, although they, you know, many women are covered, there's still this exchanges of look and uh, people throw into each other little balls of paper with their phone numbers, <laughs> <laughs> things that, you know, there's all of that happening. And the more you, you go there, the more you see that in their own way, you know, what we do here, I mean, happens in a slightly different way, but it uh, happens there. Um, and it's, it's, it's really this moment of excitement where really sort of life takes over. So I wanted to sort of pay homage to that. Um, to the fact that you know the greatest luxury to most Arabic people is to go and still you know spend the night in the desert, um, and then I heard about that word. So that's that's the title. Yeah. I think it's pure perfume sums up that explanation yeah. perfectly. Mm -hmm. yes. But you know that these perfumes uh, usually are worn by women. Um, uh, wood is worn by women mostly in the Middle East. Uh, as here, it's seen a little bit masculine, mm -hmm. um, and uh, all the men wear rose, so it's sort of... It's like flower or a rose perfume? They wear, you know, they, they, oh. they, they wear, that's everything they have. Mm -hmm. So, your store, are you open then to midnight to get the customers in there? Or? <coughs> yes. I went in a row. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I'm sure they open late in the morning. <laughs> you know, it's like being on the different time zone. Interesting. Yeah. 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 It must have, I mean, I think Dubai Mall operates until 1 o'clock in the morning or something. So everybody's open. I believe not. It's, it's like, um, it was like learning a, a language for us. We had fun with that. It was most unusual what I smelled that I've never smelled it before. No, because, you know, the thing is that that kind of smell, mm -hmm. you don't get from perfumes usually, you get that, I mean, you smell that in the Middle East um, on people, um, because they will put some wood oil or what they think is wood oil, usually it's sort of cut in a thousand pieces um, to save money, um, and then they will apply a perfume on top of that. Um, so you have that sort of prominent wood smell, mm -hmm. uh, but yet it does, it's, it's coming from the mixture rather than the perfume itself. Uh, so it's sort of spiced up. Yeah. And the idea that we had with Dominique um, is to do sort of a premix and and make something that smells like that and uses the ingredients, um, but according to our rules. So mm -hmm. we went to the Middle East. Quite a few times. I go there because you know I have a shop. I have shops there now, 
um, and we sell quite a lot in the Middle East. Um, so I have many opportunities to go there. Um, as for um, Dominic, he has, I mean, you know, he has sold perfumes to, to the Middle Eastern companies. It's something that he's really interested in. And so we did a few field trips uh, to understand how all these function. Um, and we did uh, the night, you know, the night is the result of that work, basically. Um, it's, it's all it is. Now, what I like with this is that, you know, a lot of people today, many houses, um, call perfume oud, but there's not a drop of oud in there. Sometimes you have a little bit, but it's so expensive, and it used to be hard to find, now it's a bit easier. Um, that oud became, to me, it's, it's the new oriental. You know, at the beginning of the 20th century, um, French houses used to call, like Hermann or Couty, used to call oriental perfumes, um, things like Chanima, things like Leur Bleu, uh, or their predecessors, like Homme Antique or, or uh, uh, Emerald, things like that, uh, that were just before these two. Um, and they were like a rendition of this image of the Orient. But it was like a dream thing. And today that we travel more, we, I mean, the houses sort of did representation of the Orient, but because they didn't, they were too shrewd to use real oud. Um, they call it oud, but there's no oud in it. But it's the new, so the new Oriental to me is that new oud trend that you have. But I thought it was more interesting to address it, very typical of what we are doing, using real oud, so doing the opposite of what other people do, uh, but not calling it oud. Uh, because the people that know about Oud will recognize it right away, and that's why the night um, became this huge thing in the Middle East. It's a big, big success for us. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of our, our, our biggest successes. So, yeah, that's that. It's a, it's a super good perfume. It's super addictive. I love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's sad, sad it's not cheap. But, it's, it's, um, but surprisingly, compared to some of the high-end perfumes, it's still reasonable. I mean, it's for what it is, you're right. Is. And for the amount.